explaining uh, nutrition lesson for colors of fruit. This is going to be our final lesson. Um, so make sure to include a post test if you have one to make sure or to get statistics on what the students have learned so far. So in this lesson, we're going to be talking about the different colors of fruits um, and foods and also in integrating information that we have, we have covered in the past lessons on what is considered healthy and what is considered unhealthy. Before we begin, we can also include reading the book. The book reading should last you know, anywhere from about 5 to 10 minutes, not too long, um, so that you have more time to explain the lesson and more time you know, to uh, spend on the activity. Explaining to the students that there are different kinds of healthy foods and unhealthy foods. Also, um, including new vocabulary words such as carbohydrates, fibers, fats, calories, vitamins, and minerals. Um, including examples can help the students understand, you know, where, where um, these kinds of terms are found such as you know carbohydrates carbohydrates can be found in breads pasta rice grain anything uh, fats can be found in nuts almonds uh, fiber can also be found in certain seeds calories is found in almost every food so are vitamins and minerals so uh, giving examples of these kinds of terms will help the un students understand um, you know help them Think of a bigger picture of what these words mean and where they're found. Explaining to the students, um, we're going to be talking about, you know, the uh, food servings and what they should be eating. So the, the students should understand that they need about one serving of fruit a day. One serving can be measured in different ways. Uh, here are a few ways you can measure fruit. Um, again, the students should eat about one serving of fruit a day additionally to eating fruit they should they should be also they should also know that they need to eat other kinds of foods every day um, if they only eat let's say fruits all day every day well they're going to get sick and they're not going to get the nutrients they need so explaining to the students that they need some of everything of grains vegetables fruits dairy and meats gives them a balanced diet and it you know it makes them really strong uh, it gives them energy to run around and play, especially as little kids. They have a lot of energy and they want to be playing as much as they possibly can so that they can grow and become strong individuals. Now to go on to our lesson and activity. So our activity is basically um, allowing the students to find a rainbow of fruits. Um, the students are going to be assigned into groups. Um, it can be a at their table groups or you can assign them randomly um one method of assigning student groups is if they're let's say students are wearing a red item of clothing students that are wearing red um can get into this group or if there's a uh, students wearing orange they can get into that group it really depends on how you want to organize a classroom but yeah so once you have the groups made you can assign them or if they were assigned to a color, they can get that color. Um, once they these groups are already have their assigned color, that group is responsible for coming up with as many uh, fruits that have that color. Um, I'd say um, making it kind of like a competition. So whoever can uh, name the most amount of fruits in, let's say, five minutes, um, that could be the competition. Whoever has the most fruits within those five minutes um obviously wins the, against the class um so yeah so they can name red fruits orange fruits yellow fruits green fruits pr blue purple and black um uh, fruits and pink fruits um that can be the competition again five minutes the group with the most amount of fruits in um for their color wins the group um also, it's really important that they are fruits so that, you know, it can be fair game. Um, this, all the students can participate. All the students should at least name one fruit for their class. And that is the remaining of 
lesson four. Also at the very end, make sure to give the post test so that you can record what the students have learned throughout this entire unit. That is all for lesson four and thank you.